here with you and I thought I would share today the my thoughts on my tarot and oracle decks that I've used in the month of, um, of February um, because I, I like knowing what people think of different decks and uh, so I thought I would uh, share this journey with you guys. I know that it's not up to not everybody likes um, tarot and oracle reading so that's okay. If that's the case, please move on. You don't have to watch this video. Um, as I've mentioned many times before, this doesn't change the fact that I'm a Christian. Um, this just provides extra insights for me uh, to dwell deeper into myself. And it gives me, you know, paths to try to uh, look into. <coughs> Sorry. Take a bit of water. So that's my take on this. It's not for everybody, <coughs> but I love it. And um, Marilyn Darling had mentioned on the last video that um, there was some, in, in his case, he had some issues with some of the um, some of the decks because he had purchased them from himself. Um, I never had that issue. I do, however, um, purify my decks when I get them, and uh, yeah. So, like I said, I've never had any issues with with them, you know, not working properly, and um, or bringing bad luck or whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, so this these are all the ones I used last month. My book is coming along. Um, you can see already like all these pages are what I've used so far in two months So I doubt that the full I, I'll be able to do the full year within this Because just one reading when I do a lot of the decks can take like multiple pages So this is this is what I do uh, when I do the the readings I usually I didn't do many in February. I was quite busy and did all sorts of other things. But when I do my readings, I usually put the um, the decks that I've used at the time of the reading, and then I'll document. Like for example, this was February eight, Febru February thirteen. So depending on the um, on the uh, see the thirteen was a very long one, and then uh, so on and so forth. And this is the Ollie uh, block uh, clip that I use. Uh, because I always write with fountain pens so I usually put a piece of paper like this and that to prevent my pages from um, getting all messed up so I haven't done any readings yet in the month of March because I really wanted to choose my decks but I also wanted to make a video and yeah so because of that I haven't really done much so here is the the what I would have liked what I haven't liked um, the uh, soul, the the soul food. Uh, what's it called? The oops, soul food for chakras uh, deck that um, the uh, Ricky Ealer uh, that I see uh, had created is really amazing. Um, all the readings so far, they've always been like right on track, so very close. So that was a good one. Uh, this one. It, it's still I'm still not sure with um, I think I'm gonna have to work further with it before I can get like a, more of a sense of it uh, some cards were were seem to be in match with some others but not all the time um, but yeah it, it, it but it is a good there was some good base in it and the cards are gorgeous um, I love the artwork for them. The Untethered Soul, I've been reading the book. This is an amazing book if you haven't read it. Uh, this one is right on track whenever I pull the card from there. It's, and it's, it's often something that I'm about to read in the book. So very funny. Um, then the Wild Offering Oracle, also very, very close to um, what was going on. And it's, it's funny because some words would repeat from, from, um, uh, from one to the next. Uh, for example, one of the, the words that I had a lot was truth. Um, so be, you know, like show your, your truth, 
and your your true self and and all of that uh, but there was also yeah it was uh, inner truth um, you know like and and the shaman uh, had it as well um, then uh, one of the other things uh, that came out a few times which was funny uh, I'm not going to be able to find it there was a lot about you know creativity and expanding my, my creativity and um, removing the negative and that sort of thing um, and the last one had a lot about um, you know watching out for the um, watching out for for people uh, stabbing you in the back or stuff like that which um, felt strange um, and yeah I, I haven't felt any of that um, and I've been careful about uh, what I tell myself as well because often it's not even a question of other people it's often what we tell ourselves this uh, deck however the tattoo tarot it has beautiful imagery um, but I cannot seem to get in line with it uh, it just I don't know um, every time I've been pulling out a card intuitively it's not like it doesn't resonate with me um, that doesn't mean I would get rid of it because I have I've been collecting tarot and uh, oracle decks um, but it, it's probably not going to be one that's going to be in rotation very often one that I am totally in love with and I already knew that this was gonna happen I would have been very surprised if it hadn't is the Tim uh, Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas um, this one was right on mark like every single time and I pull one card or two cards there was always they were always aligned together and they were always aligned with what was going on in my life so um, very very cool and uh, I, I really really love it I already used it for the month of January and the month of February so I will retire the all of these are going to be retired for for the month of um, except for the untethered soul this one I want to keep but all the other ones are going to be retired for the month of March just because uh, I do want to have new ones and, and try out new things um, this one seasons of the witch I love it it's very it's much darker um, but but also very very close to what I was living in a different type of way um, you know highlighting it in a, a different way and the imagery is just yeah it, it, it just I really really like it I like it enough that I actually got the one for Christmas time so very excited about that so now I will move these back into a box and I will pull out the new ones that I'm going to be using and I've been buying a lot of them used just because I like buying use items I like recycling I like giving them new life um, and yeah so that is that, that so as I said for the month of March I will be using the untethered soul I really like uh, that one so far and since I'm still reading the book I think it's a good thing um, I'm considering doing uh, a video about the book that one and a chakra book that I read um, so because I would like to share with you guys what I what I found interesting in there then one of the, the decks that I love the the imagery is deviant moon tarot so that one I don't know if it's gonna be because I seem to have it it's 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 a touch and go with the tarot cards except for like the the um, the nightmare before Christmas but the tattoo one wasn't wasn't much of a click um, so this one I love the imagery it's it's really it's really weird and you can imagine that you know it's it's 
that's that's why it's deviant moon so it's it's very i like the imagery a lot it it um I like creepy stuff <laughs> so to me this is this is right along the way and this like there's a lot of steampunkish look to it as well which I totally adore so I'm anxious to um, looking forward to using it and seeing how I find it and letting you guys know uh, then I've got this one, the, liter the Literary Witches Oracle. Um, this one is all about authors. It has authors, but it also has other elements like eyes. But see, it has all kinds of knife. It's, it's kind of strange. Uh, Agatha Christie, mushrooms. Uh, you know, like they've got all kinds of different things. So I'm, I'm curious to see what it's all about. Um, it's just very intriguing to me that the, there's like these author, but at the same time, there's these uh, other cards. So I'm going to be trying out that one and seeing. I love when there's books. I try to find some that have books because I just find it's a lot easier for me especially at at my beginning you know like I've been doing this for a while but still a beginning journey for me so it's, it's good if if I have the um, the book to refer to and then this one is mystic sister and I love 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 the imagery of that one I just had to get it when I saw it on a listing on eBay I just had to get it because look at that I mean they're magical all the colors and the elements and it feels like the zen, zen doodling type of thing see so it's 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 really this this really calls to me um, even the back is gorgeous so those are all elements that when I'm pulling out a card that's also touching my art and uh, just making me think about you know trying out new things and inspiring me this one is the light sears tarot i've been looking at that one for a while it was also part of a, a purchase of a no actually this one i think i got on amazon because there was a super uh, big special on it and uh, there's all kinds of beautiful it's very beautiful like look at that I love it so another gorgeous deck that I'm looking forward to trying and this is another tarot but much different from from this one so I'm I'm curious to see how the two the two of them um, match or don't match um, as I said often the the cards from one deck when I was pulling from multiple decks they all kind of blended together, which was very interesting um, and, you know, very truthful since that was uh, what I was feeling at the time. So the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck is another one with beautiful imagery, purple, you know, me and purple, and uh, has all kinds of nice things. Check that out. I love it. So, I mean, I could just stay, stay there and just look at the cards and that in itself would be very pleasing to me. So, you know, sometimes when I pull out a card, it's mostly, <laughs> it's also for that so that I can check out the imagery and I can just uh, kind of dream in it. So, those are going to be my decks for this month. And at the end of the month, I will let you know how it went. I think I have less one, two... Three, four, five, six. I had seven at the time. This time I have six, so it's a little bit less. Um, yeah. So hope you like coming along on this journey with me. Um, if you do, please leave your comments down below. Consider subscribing, and don't forget I have also a website and I have a newsletter that I send out every month. So you can go and subscribe to that. I've already sent out the March one 
and uh, I sent a little freebie with it so if you were not subscribed to the website um, well you didn't get the freebie so uh, but there is still one on my blog so go and check it out um, so yeah love you guys bye